Now, Religion in the News, a report and comment on religious trends and events being covered by the media. This week's item is from news.bbc.co.uk, July 30th, 2007, with a headline, Faith-Based Toys to Hit U.S. Stores. The following are excerpts. Instead of Spider-Man or Bratz dolls, children in the U.S. could soon be clutching a talking Jesus toy a bearded Moses, or a muscle-bound figure of Goliath. From the middle of August, Walmart, the biggest toy retailer in the U.S., will for the first time stock a full line of faith-based toys. The Bible-based action figures will initially be given two feet of shelf space in 425 of the company's 3,300 stores nationwide. There, the Tales of Glory dolls will take on what their makers are calling the Battle for the Toy Box, with some of the nation's most popular action figures. So, will the 12-inch Jesus doll quoting scripture or the 3-inch figure of Daniel in the lion's den open up children's imaginations and their parents' wallets? David Saka, founder of One to Believe, the company which makes the dolls, is confident the demand is there for God-honoring toys which reflect Christian teachings and morality. We get a lot of people, even people who are not of faith, don't go to church, saying, I've got a four- and a six-year-old, and I don't know what to get them anymore, he said. If you go in a toy aisle in any major retailer, you'll see toys and dolls that promote and glorify evil, destruction, lying, cheating. In the girls' aisle, where the dolls would be, you see dolls that are promoting promiscuity to very young girls. Dolls will have very revealing clothes on, G-string underwear. What his company offers instead is something faith-based that is not only fun to play with, but also is solidifying a person's spiritual wherewithal and their spiritual journey, he said. Dave, as you know, I just returned from uh, CBA, which is the Christian Bookstore Association. Actually, it's their retail convention. And uh, what you find there is just astounding, not just this. This is a small part of it. But you have Jesus riding skateboards, images so-called of Jesus, figurines, riding skateboards, motorcycles, all of that. It's now, uh, Are these little little skateboards that, he, that he's on or yeah. is he on there like a uh, um, – No, he's riding the skateboard. He's, yeah. he's rock climbing. He's doing all these kinds of things. And I say he, not Jesus obviously, oh, but right. – uh, call it a small idol because really that's that's what it is. What's the purpose of that? Well, supposedly, and that's this person's, this individual who's creating these things, we want something a little bit more spiritual. Mm-hmm. Now, Dave, I'll tell you, it makes me angry. I grew up as a Roman Catholic, as you know, and we had our dashboard Jesus, and it was a figurine, right? and it was on the dashboard of our car. Now, here's my point. To protect you. Yeah, to protect you, like St. Christopher, okay, but now it's Jesus on the dashboard of a car. We never played with that, okay? I mean, as wrong as it was, we took it seriously. But these are toys that three, four, five-year-olds play with. You, you ever see, you know, you've got, you have four children. Uh, you see them play with toys and so on. You know, they're going to use it against Godzilla or they're going to use it this way. Well, and they're in charge. They didn't know anything. No, that. I know. But anyway. But but for the most part, of course, the they child... Right. They have a, an imagination. Right. And not only that, but they're moving this figurine around. They're in charge. They're making this figurine do whatever they have in their imagination. Now, you see, Jana, our eldest daughter, she got into writing as a little child. Mm-hmm. And she used to write stories about nice naughties. Ah. <laughs> These are nice naughties. She yeah. wanted to get some naughtiness in there, but right. had to be nice, and so that's where we are and with the these. The point here is, talk about trivializing. I mean, this could oh. go as far as oh being blasphemy. It All is. Right. It, it is. is. But uh, that's where we are. I mean, all of this is really about money. It's all about a product. It's all about marketing. But it's faith-based. What, what about faith-based toys, Dave? <laughs> The time it will take you away from the faith is it says God honoring toys which reflect Christian teachings and morality. This is idolatry. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, a, it's a second commandment. I mean, you don't make idols, you don't make any likeness. 
and now they're going to make likenesses of the Bible character. How is that going to help? As you said, it will trivialize this whole thing. We got Daniel in a lion's den. No, he was in a real lion's den with real lions. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, it, it, well, they, if anybody could see these action figures, faith-based, they look like uh, the characters that we talked about in the in the first segment. You know, Goliath. Now it looks like he's been working out with weights, and uh, they're just power figures dressed like these power uh, characters. But Tom, um, faith-based. This is not faith-based. Fun to play but also solidifying a person's spiritual wherewithal and their spiritual journey? No. We go to the Bible for that. Mm -hmm. and this is totally against Scripture. I mean, they may mean well, um, but... Um, no, it's trivializing the Word of God. And worse, they've, the sad part here is our young children now are comparing David, who slew Goliath, Samson, and so on, to these power figures, these power. Of course, Tom, some people will say, what about flannel graphs? And what about illustrated? Uh, it's a difference because this is, they know when they see it illustrated on a piece of paper, they know that's not real. These things are made to look real. Mm -hmm. These are idols. And it's not helpful, Tom, but it's going to turn them away from the truth. Right. I got along very well with Bible stories. I read the Bible. We taught it in Sunday school. And we knew what it meant. But this is going to just mess the whole thing up. For more information about the Berean Call, call us toll-free at our order number or visit our website. 